Yo onda, mi gente? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Maribel, M-A-R-I-B-E-L, XO22 on my social media. Make sure you guys check me out. And if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, guys. We would highly appreciate it. So for today's video, guys, it's just an intro to a recipe that I did um, a, a while back. Um, it is chocolate-covered caramel pretzels. Um, it is a pretzel rod covered in caramel, covered in chocolate, um, rolled in nuts, and um, yeah, guys, deliciousness all the way around. We hope you guys like the video. We hope you guys enjoy the video. Make sure you guys give it a, a like, um, subscribe, and thank you guys so much for everything. Peace. <laughs> All right, guys, these are the ingredients that you're going to need to make the caramel chocolate covered pretzel rods. Very, very simple ingredients, guys. What I have here is some peanuts, some walnuts, and some pecans. Okay, we're going to need some semi-sweet and milk chocolate chips. We're going to need some caramel bits, some pretzel rods, and some white chocolate to drizzle on the top. Very, very simple ingredients, guys. So let's go ahead and get into this recipe. Okay, guys, in a saucepan, we're gonna go ahead and add the caramel bits, half a bag. We're gonna cook this on medium low. Add a little bit of water. It doesn't say how much water. I added maybe half a teaspoon on there. So what I did, guys, in the water ratio, it doesn't say how many or how much cups or teaspoons or anything like that. For the instructions, it just says caramel bits in medium saucepan. Add water. Cook on medium low heat for three minutes. But it doesn't say how much. So I personally added half of the bag of the caramel bits and maybe half a teaspoon of water. I'm gonna let this cook on very low, medium low it says, until it melts, and then we'll go from there. Okay guys, it's melting. Let's go ahead and move this around. Let me grab my wooden spoon before I scratch my pan here. I actually have this one, which is better. Mix this around. Give it about two more minutes and it should be completely melted. All right guys, one more minute. Just keep mixing this around. like so nice melted this actually took more than three minutes guys it took almost like five minutes so half a bag half a tablespoon of water five minutes like so look how beautiful that is alrighty let's get into the next step Okay guys, I have my caramel here. Turn off the heat. Like so. You're going to need a plate, your rods and your nuts. I'm gonna start off by spray painting my plate here, that way they don't stick onto the tray or to the plate timing. I'm gonna get my rods, cover them with caramel. Just almost leave one inch. That way you could hold it. Okay. Like so. Once you got the caramel, twist this around. like so, dip it in the nuts. Like so, and let it dry. Let it get hard, the caramel guys. 
Okay guys, here we have the pretzels. All I'm going to do is put them in the refrigerator, that way they could harden faster. And I'm gonna continue putting the caramel just on the ones with caramel and chocolate, guys. So I'm gonna continue doing this, but just with the caramel. So if the caramel fell um, on the sides, guys, just go ahead and squeeze it together, like so. That way it could be nice and rounded. Okay guys, here we have just the caramel ones. As you can see, it's kind of melting to the sides, guys, but once it gets, uh, once I throw them out in the refrigerator and let them harden a little bit, then I could reshape them with my hand. But for now, I'm just gonna leave it like that and give it a, maybe about five minutes in the refrigerator. Okay guys, in here I have one cup of water um, boiling. I'm just gonna go ahead and place my glass bowl up here and let this warm up for I could put my chocolate my chocolate chips in here. As far as my white chocolate chips, guys, I'm just gonna throw them in the microwave for about 30 seconds and let those melt like that. So right here, guys, I have a foil. All I did is put some canola um, spray on here, that way they don't stick. As far as the caramel, all I'm doing is just smoothing it out. Like so. This will not happen if you put it in a bigger um, plate or in a dish, um, cooking dish, but I wasn't thinking straight guys. I just grabbed the plate and they got stuck together, but that's fine. We could fix that. Like so. Continue doing this for the rest of them guys. All right, like so guys. So these are ready. All I need to do is get my chocolate nice and warmed up and melted. All right guys, so it's nice and hot. Go ahead and add my chocolate chips in here. All right, mix this around until it melts. All right guys, here we have our white chocolate nice and melted and here's the semi-sweet this is almost done like so turn it off and it's ready to go Okay guys, all I'm going to do now is cover the pretzels with chocolate. Doesn't have to be perfect. Like so. On the ones with the nuts, guys, you just want to kind of spread it like this. You don't want to um, smooth it out because then all the nuts are going to fall in the chocolate. Like so. Like so. Like so guys, continue doing this with the rest of them. I think I'm gonna do the plain caramel ones first. That way I don't get no nuts in the chocolate. Okay guys, so to these chocolate ones, all I'm going to do is just drizzle some of this white chocolate on the top. Like 
like so. Look how beautiful this looks, guys. The bomb. I can't wait to try these. I'm gonna go ahead and let these cool off for about 10 minutes and then we're gonna go ahead and give them a try.